This is my uh, Type 564 Tektronix storage oscilloscope. Uh, it's fairly old, but it still works. Trace illumination. Hmm. I like to watch the uh, trace swimming around as the tubes heat up on it. It actually uses a combination of uh, tubes and transistors rather than just tubes. Hmm. That trace will swim around for a while as it heats up. And uh, even in the instruction manual, well not the instruction manual, but the uh, service manual says let it heat up for an hour before calibration. Or before calibrating. Hmm. Where are you going? Hmm. This is the storage function. Do the upper half or the lower half. If you hold the switches in between, you can make it do weird things. Hmm. This is a very pretty piece of engineering. You can even see one of the. Uh, neon based diodes in the back of the unit Those two neon bulbs will only turn on wherever the brightness is at uh, zero. Just like that. That transformer was not original. That was actually put in there by my dad because on the original transformer, the high voltage windings were burnt up. Now, that transformer is what supplies the high voltage for the CRT, or the higher voltages. There's high voltages all throughout this thing, three, four hundred volts through most of it, and a couple thousand for the CRT. You get the rotary encoder for the time base there's a few transistors down there and more tubes and as a matter of fact these are removable you just turn these little things to unscrew them and they can pop right out They go pretty smoothly too, and uh, yeah, without the time base, it's just a little dot floating around from the various different voltages. This is just all floating now. 
You can even swap these and make the trace go up and down rather than side to side. What if, for whatever reason, the left side, the vertical side, doesn't have any sort of display blanking. So every time the trace goes back, you can see it fly back. <laughs> I always thought that was kind of funny. The engineering that went into this old thing is absolutely amazing. I mean, the way they used to solder the passives right onto uh, ceramic. Pretty neat. Another little neon diode there. The tubes are still glowing even if you pull it out from the residual heat. Look at that one. It's got a little bit of blue inside of it. That one must be starting to get a little gassy. Watch just handling a lot of current. Hmm. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.